Now let's actually finally do some more Xenoblade Chronicles story stuff, because it has been a while since we've done that, and I haven't even done Xenoblade Chronicles 2 stuff in quite a while, because I want to get to a certain part in this first, which means doing this session where we just defeat the Telethia, so this should be a pretty short bit of story stuff, but we shall see. Beard, you're doing decently well, sleep school is totally all your energy and will to operate. I understand that. Also never answered the question earlier, what about how the rest of the street went? When I was streaming some, uh, either I was streaming Xenoblade grinding here or I was doing Dead by Daylight. I'm pretty sure Dead by Daylight was a later one, but I don't remember the order of these things now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was later. It turned out decently well, actually. It was not half bad. Pretty chill time. And now that we're all, like, decked out and all this weird stuff and all wonky looking... Let's finally continue with more story stuff. Like, I checked when the last time I streamed Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was, and it was like a month ago, pretty much. So, I mean, like, I want to get to a certain part in Xenoblade Chronicles 1 here before doing the next session of Xenoblade 2, because there's going to be a whole lot more Xenoblade 1 content for this chapter of the journey. But first, I need to defeat the Telethia. <laughs> So, let's finally go and do that then. It's about time. Trader guessed well, correct? Didn't bully them too much, did you? I did not. I'll tell you, I did not do that. <laughs> not one bit. Man, imagine if this game had an official HD. Oh my goodness. An official HD remaster. Like, even just like this HD upgrade that my computer is able to do here makes it look pretty nice, but imagine if there was like an official actually HD remake of this game. Like how beautiful this would all be. Cause this doesn't like upgrade the textures. All it does is take away the blurriness by turning what's already there into HD. So I mean, imagine how pretty that, this already looks gorgeous, but imagine how much more gorgeous it could be in like an official remaster that I don't think would ever happen, but that would be incredible. And I would love that so much. Why can't that happen? Actually, I already know the reason why. It's... Monolith Soft isn't the richest company ever. When asked about if they would ever bring Xenoblade Chronicles X to the Switch, they were like, we haven't really thought of that because, you know, money. <laughs> they don't exactly have the means to do that. Maybe if they get some fun and buy Nintendo and stuff. How am I supposed to sneak around these dudes? Hello, Carvey. How's it going today there? But yeah, also clouds, that is very strange how it shows like the three month sub badge by your name there and dang it, dang it, get away from me! And Streamlabs doesn't show any subs at all because Streamlabs likes to be dumb. It likes to be real dumb like that. And I know that Twitch also gives out new sub badges earlier than, than you actually reaching the number for them. I actually got it, cool, I made it past them. But I have a feeling that pretty soon then I might have to give that color in the Discord server. What is this? Ricky never see before. Is this not Ricky's Machna? Ricky never see before. To think it has caused this much damage. What do you mean? Are you telling me the Telethia did this? Telethia absorb and drain the surrounding area of all its ether. That's it. The Telethia is sucking up all the ether, which is causing the natural environment to change. Shulk, the Telethia can read your mind. Expect it to know what you will do before you do it. I know. I'll aim for its antenna and stop its ability to read my thoughts. With the Monado at our side, it doesn't stand a chance. Why does it play the music in the background with the alert screen. gone? Do not expect it to fall so easily. Uh, hold on. I guess we're... But we have to trust in the <laughs> I guess we get to listen to this epic music during the cutscene. Hold on. This music during this gutscene, hold on. Yes. It is trust. He trusts in the power of that soul. <laughs> There's a robot voice! Hold on. I like your stuff. What did he say it was called? I see. I try to have there be like no interference during the cutscenes, which is why the alert box goes off during them. Feels bad. Okay, I think there's some more walking now. Never mind, hold on. 
stick together, everyone. Dino Beast, big as Ricky imagined. The Telethia. I take this chance to bring vengeance to my brethren and fulfill my duty. Shulk, I will trap it and cease its movement. Strike when the time is right! Melia! She's nifty with that stuff. I knew it. She can control ether energy without using catalysts or rifle shells. I've heard that such people exist. But I never thought she would be one. Shulk, right, Shala. Protect Melia at all costs. On it. Right. Ah! I guess we actually hop straight into the real battle. Anyway, because that sub alert didn't show up before, I'm gonna replay it now. Because, you know, it was turned off during the cutscene there, but apparently the music still plays. A cloud's coming out of nowhere with the three month sub there. Apparently I've subbed for a month three times, so I just wanted to say I like your stuff and keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, I appreciate it. I appreciate the kind words and thanks so much for the three months, that means a lot. I'll have to give you that unique color in my Discord server now, since like everyone that reaches those higher level badges in the channel of whatever sort gets a permanent color upgrade in my discord server so you'll get a new color based on that harmony scarf there is what i'm gonna have to do but yeah when people get <laughs> the freaky robotic voice but when people find entertainment from a long-haired weirdo like me it means a lot to me man you know i super appreciate it um but yeah and yeah, Carve, yeah, Melia, yeah, she's totally broke. I've never actually tried out Melia a whole bunch in previous playthroughs, but I've heard, like, apparently she's tricky to use, but apparently if you get the hang of her, she, uh, she's apparently, like, one of the best party members, if not the best party member. She's, like, wacky. Okay, I'm gonna need to use, actually, wait, it hasn't used Soul Reed yet, so I don't actually need to use Monado Purge yet. Not quite yet. There we go, Soul Reed. Now I better use Monado Purge so that it doesn't dodge all my attacks. There we go. So much for that. Whoops. Sounds like Dunban's using Blossom Dance over yonder way. Oi! Let me do my thing. Let me do it, man. Yeah, we should be a high enough level to be doing this, this battle. Everything should be AO fine. Everything is under control, man. Worldly slash! Let's do all the things. Let's get behind and do a backslash real quick for some big damage. Wow, it's already like halfway done. Is this boss really gonna be this easy from like all the grinding and gear that I got and all that stuff? Oh my goodness. Dunban needs a little bit of encouragement and it looks like we're going to a scene. And thanks, Carvia. Regenerative power is too much. It is all right, Shulk. Destroying the Telethia is beyond us. We should cut our losses and mourn those who perished. Never, Melia. The men you lost, I can tell they were dear to you. I know only too well that desire for revenge and the crushing pain of losing those close to you. I can't stand by and let another person experience what I have. This monster is going down. I'll trap him with the Monado. Then the rest of you hit the Telethia with everything you have. Thank you. Ready? Do we get to listen to engage the enemy during the boss battle? Because if so, that is great. Looks like it has full health again, so that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? Egger off me, please. Let's do the backslash for some big damage. 
It's about to use... Oh, I thought it was going to use Soul Read, but it didn't even. It didn't even do it. Now it's going to use Soul Read, so I'll go ahead and use Monado Purge. So that we stop missing our attacks. There we go. Let's go ahead and try this. Let's give it a shot. There we go. Inflict Break. Let's topple. Now we inflict Daze. There we go. Now it is a bit stunned. I'll get ready to use Shaker Edge. So I can stun it again. Like that to extend it. And now we'll get behind and use Backslash. Yeah, we are absolutely annihilating this boss, aren't we? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's lower that physical defense real quick. Physical defense down. Oh my goodness, we already have an almost full party gauge. I'm going to go ahead and use Battle Soul to fill the party gauge a bit and stuff. Is what I'll do. Stop pulling the poor Telethi. I didn't realize I'd be giving it this much of a beating. I'm sorry, I'll sit there. How's it going today? Yeah, I didn't realize that we'd be giving it this much of a beating. <laughs> turns out, turns out this boss is easy peasy after all the grinding I've done. So that's pretty neat. Let's lower that physical defense. This is what we'll do real quick. Do I have Shaker Edge up again? I do. So it's about to run out of days. There we go. Now it's dazed again. My oh my. And we get behind you, use backslash, and that, uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Brilliant thinking. Even though the Telethia can absorb large amounts of ether energy and regenerate at an incredible rate, absorbing so much energy caused it to implode. Who would have thought? Brute force wins again. Nothing like an old-fashioned scrap. Dixon would have been proud. It was the only way I could think of. If there had been another way... Don't listen to Dunban. Soon you and that Monado will be unstoppable. It's like a Tefra cave. It was almost natural. Instinctive. The Monado responded to me, and I harnessed a new power. You'll get your chance, Shulk. We'll turn that face mech on into scrap. I know. That's what keeps me going. Hoggard, oh Garin, Damiel Eisel. Are you there? I did it. It's dead. Did you see? I thank you for your aid in my cause. Justice has been served. You're welcome. Besides, it was mostly you. Dino Beast! Here upon Ricky, ready for round two! Hey, hey! A fight over already? No, oh, Ricky, not no! I'm afraid it's all finished. We couldn't have done it without you, brave little here upon. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, brave! I'm also a little brave. Ricky, happy, happy! And there was the nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition in the background of the cutscene. Um, would I please be able to ask you to not do that? That'd be appreciated. What? There's another scene. Here upon Ricky, be proud. Here upon Ricky, tough guy. Here upon Ricky, bestest. Look at him, barely hit a toe, and he gets all the praise. Oh, <laughs> let him have his glory. A few days ago, the villagers wouldn't give him the time of day. Besides. Won't you miss him just a little bit? Chief Dunga, Ricky beat Dino Beast. Does Ricky still have debt? No, Ricky. Your debts are repaid. However, while you were gone, 
Your little puns et like ravenous orluga. It set Chief Dunga back quite a bit. No pawn no frontier village. A new prophecy has been told. Our Hereupon, slayer of Dino Beast, will further his legend by accompanying the Hom Hom on their travels and bringing peace to the lands of Bayonis. Oh, Ricky never hear this. It was prophesied many years ago. Chief lying! Chief make a prophecy one minute ago! Oh, Ricky mad! Ricky! Go with these people! For the sake of the village, you must go! My instinct is never wrong. <gasps> Do not worry, Ricky. Your little puns will be taken care of. <laughs> Dadapon stomach rumble. Dadapon need food. Dadapon need food now. Dada, Ricky, what on by honest is going on? Friends, meet Ricky, wifey pon, and little pon. You have got to be joking. Wife and children. Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have 40 years. <laughs> oh, friends look puzzled. Not puzzled. Just surprised. Ricky! Oka borrow monies for Little Pond's food. Chief Danga know best. Ricky must work for Little Pond's to have good life. R Ricky will! Okay, Oka! Ricky! <laughs> happy to join friends! Ryan happy too. Come on, Furball. Now you can return with your head held high, my dear. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Dunga. My thanks for your gracious help. Not at all. Peace has been restored to the Makna region. On behalf of all Nopon, thank you. Chief Dunga is very fond of Melia. Same hom hom, different world. Not fair, if you ask me. Chief Dunga, will you kindly grant these homs passage to Aerith Sea? It is my promise to them. Without question! These hom hom fought valiantly in aid of our village, and a request by you, my dear, cannot go unanswered. I shall inform the villagers at once. You are too kind. The Chief has spoken. You should depart for Erith Sea at once. Prepare your things and see me when you are ready. Yeah, I think I might have to start making some changes around with the alert boxes and the system there. I think for maybe when I do playthroughs of games like for really heavy story based stuff where I don't want any interruptions during the cutscenes for people who could be seeing this after who want to experience a story. I might start using Streamlabs OBS for those playthroughs instead because I'm pretty sure when you hide the alert box on that it mutes it as well but for regular OBS which is what I'm using right now I don't like I know it doesn't. I'm not 100% sure if it mutes it on Streamlabs OBS but I think it does. I think if I remember correctly having the alert box hidden also mutes it. So that would be optimal so I think for story heavy playthroughs of things I may change the alert box or use Streamlabs OBS so the alert box gets muted as well. As well I've been thinking for a while about potentially turning off the alert when it's one that wasn't actually from a stream or just making it an alert variation that's silent and just something small or something like that. Not the blaring thing that anybody can do by typing slash host on their channel, you know? So that it doesn't, you know, interrupt stuff, you know? When it's not actually something real. It's been something I've been thinking about for a while that I may just wind up doing but oh 
That's the chief, and he's just taking a nice little stroll through the village there. Melia, what will you do now? I would like to repay you for your help. Permit me to act as your guide to Aerith Sea. Of course. We'd love you to. But I must warn you. Aerith Sea is vast. Do you know where you wish to go? There's a dark tower at the head of the Bionis. I saw it in a vision. That's where I must go. A dark tower? Then we need not search at all. So you've heard of it? Heard of it? I have seen it. A dark tower at the head of the Bionis. Only one place fits that description. So you know it. I believe what you saw was Prison Island. Prison Island? Dixon said the same thing. Indeed. Melia, have you ever been there? I have not set foot upon the island, but I know of it. Prison Island is sealed. No one may enter without Imperial Sanction. Imperial Sanction, eh? That means we'll be needing someone to grant us entry. I've heard that Aerith Sea is home to an empire ruled by the High Entia. They might be our best chance. You are knowledgeable for a Homs. Sanctions? Empires? Anyone help here? Oh, a sanction is permission from someone important. An empire must be a place ruled by an emperor. In other words, we need an emperor's permission to enter the island. This emperor, is he important? Long before we Homs built the colonies, a group of so-called royal types, or imperials, ruled our lands. Think of them like the heads of our colony, but with much greater influence and power. Now I get it. Dunban knows more than a textbook. Are you kidding? That's first year Homs history, Ryan. I might have slept through that class. So when do we get to meet these high end tier folks? You are so... Oh, forget it. First, we must travel to the Imperial capital. We'll see how easy it is to see this Emperor. My promise was to be your guide. I will not break it. Melia, isn't that the... The shortcut to Aerith Sea? Yes. Alrighty, so we can finally make our way to the next area here. Oh, there's a quest thing. Oh. Sure. I'll examine the thing. I only just barely noticed that on the map. Whoa, I totally fixed a thing for our quest that I might not ever finish. I dunno, man. It's so weird looking up and seeing, like, the floating water or whatever the heck. I assume that's what that's meant to be. My oh my. Considering that when we go up to the top, it is a lake. Now it's transitioning to night. I see. I see, man. Yeah, and I guess that up there is water? Considering the... Considering that Aerith Sea is above us. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I have to talk to you. Transport guide. Okay, she looks kind of facing a 90 degree angle, but whatever. We can send you to Aerith Sea in a flash of light. Oh my goodness, it's a magical Nupon. Are you ready to go? Totally, man. Let's go. Let's get out of dodge. Friends, jumping bull! <laughs> All go to Erith! Jump? In that? You're nuts, Furball! You have nothing to fear! This will take us to Erith Sea, 